Does ETFs pay out the full amount of the dividends earned from its stocks? ETFs, exchange traded funds, pay out the full amount of dividends earned by the stocks that are held within that fund. Most ETFs hold all of the dividends paid by the underlying stocks during the quarter and will pay out the dividends quarterly to their shareholders on a pro rata basis. How are dividends earned through ETFs allocated? If an investor owns 10 shares of an ETF and there are 100 shares of that ETF outstanding, the investor would earn 10% of the total dividends earned by that ETF. If the ETF have 5 dividend paying stocks in its portfolio, the quarterly dividends will be placed in a pool and the shareholders would receive their distribution for each share held. Exchange traded funds will pay out the full amount of dividends that is earned from the stocks held in that ETF on a pro rata basis. If an ETF own 10 shares of every dividend paying stock and the 5 dividend paying stocks each earn a quarterly dividend of $1, the ETF would earn total dividends for that quarter of $50. The $50 would then be distributed to the shareholders of the ETF. If an investor owned 10 shares of the ETF, he would earn a quarterly dividend of $5 as the investor owns 10% of the ETF and also has the right to 10% of the total dividends earned by the ETF. Different types of dividends an ETF can pay out. Qualified and non-qualified dividends are two types of dividends that an ETF can distribute to their shareholders. If a stock is held for longer than 60 days before the ex-dividend date the qualified dividends will qualify for long-term capital gains. Dividends that are of the type non-qualified are taxed at the investor's ordinary income tax rate. The total dividend amount minus the total amount treated as qualified dividends are the, the total amount of non-qualified dividends held by that ETF. Are ETFs required to pay out dividends? ETF issuers are required to pay out dividends collected from securities held in their funds. The proceeds from these dividends may be in the form of either a cash distribution or a reinvestment in additional shares, fractional, of the ETF.